Hi, I'm Margot Ceccarelli, and today I'm going to be showing you a technique. But also, before the technique, we're going to be talking about a general concept about some sort of guard pull, not just any guard pull. The two main types of guard pulls that we're going to be looking at. So I'm introducing the idea of having a neutral guard pull and an advancing guard pull. First, what is a neutral pull? Okay, so a neutral guard pull is like when I'm standing with my partner, and first things first, I need to initiate grips with her, right? I can't just sit, I can't guard pull with any set of grips, right? So we're already starting to crouch down a little bit. I'm trying to initiate the grip from here. So you come a little bit close to the page. So as soon as I'm in my staggered stance, I'm getting my grip and I end up in a sort of neutral position, but I haven't managed to initiate any sort of off balance from this position. I'm kind of trying to gather myself and arrange myself so I'm able to get into a better guard position from this position. But our main aim here is to already arrive in a guard and to already be able to initiate an off balance right from the get-go. So we're gonna reset back to the standing position now and take a look at what an advancing guard pull would be. So in general, we always want to stay a step ahead of our partner. In a neutral position, Paige has enough time to recognize what I'm trying to do and the patterns, the techniques that I'm doing. If I'm in an advancing position, usually she doesn't have that time for that sort of pattern recognition or to recognize, oh, I'm in a bad position. She kind of just has to react on the get-go, on the move, and be able to improvise at a very high level. So using advancing guard pull, it's gonna be harder for her to recognize the patterns and easier for me to do the work that I need to do, which is off balance and sweep her. So let's get into it. So we're gonna look at an advancing guard pull this time. It's gonna be a little bit of the same work. So I'm trying to get a grip here. I advance towards Paige. We're gonna do it one more time so we don't hit the wall. So again, I'm advanced, I put your other leg forward. So I'm in an advancing guard pull scenario. I'm gonna initiate, get the grips that I want. I'm throwing myself at a certain velocity. I'm already looking for the off bounce, so I'm able to advance into the position that I want and get up to the position that I need to be in. You see how the weight shift, the weight transfer happens so fast in this sort of position. If we go one more time for the advancing guard pull, we have to take a step back and think about time and tempo. Why? If I ever choose to pit stop in a position, so I take a pause, I stop in my sequence, again, I'm allowing her that time to recognize the pattern and to start reacting, to start shutting down my moves. So the more continuous I can be, the more I can stay ahead in the sequence, this is gonna allow me to always be in that position where if I initiate with the advancing guard pull, I'm always staying ahead. So if we do it one more time, we're gonna still use the advancing idea, but we're gonna try and slow it down so you can guys can see with a little bit more clarity what we're doing. So I get my grips. I slide into the Dela Hiva, I'm weight shifting to the right side. So we do that one more time for a little bit more continuity. So from the advancing guard pull, I'm gonna go slow this time. So I'm initiating grips, I'm closing the distance and also level changing at the same time. I'm going for my Dela Hiva and I'm weight shifting to my right side. So I don't wanna really pause in these positions. From here, I can go directly into the inside space and I'm already on the top position from here. Now, we'll do it just one more time to explain the process of off-balancing from here. So, I'm grabbing the grip, I level change, I slide into the Dela Hiva, and I'm pulling her towards my hip line from here. So what needs to happen here, in order to move her weight successfully, I'm bringing my, my left knee and my right knee closer to my chest. But if I continue to do that, I'm only bringing her in the overhead direction. I need to understand in which direction I want to take her through space, which is to the right side in this situation. So, what am I gonna do from here? I'm gonna bring my knees more to my chest. I'm gonna start tilting my body to the right. I extend my right leg a little bit so I'm able to weight transfer into the far leg. If I don't do that, I'm gonna keep all the weight into the near side leg and she's gonna be able to restore her base and I don't want that. So I'm gonna to continue to extend, but I'm also pulling actively with my right hand. 
Now there's a number of different options that I can go into from here, which involves going into the inside space, getting to the Jenga position like we talked about in the Underworld series, but we're not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna stay in the De La Hiva orientation, okay? So from here, the option that we've been going for so far is coming here, going to the inside and just simply elevating from here. So I'm using a bit of a tempo change and explosive movement from here. So once I create that explosive movement with my feet from here, keeping the pen grip from here and keeping a punching grip with the near side collar from here, I'm able to go into the back take situation. Or if she stands up a little bit more upright, yeah, from here I can look to try and wing my right leg across and try and get to the back take situation from over here. So if we go one more time, just looking at the difference between neutral and advancing. Neutral looks more like I can take more pit stops and then I transition into a guard of choice. But this usually means she has more time to recognize my patterns and to react to me. In an advancing guard pull, always think about progressing forward and not trying to pit stop too much. So as I'm here, sending forward, whether I'm going for the elevation or trying to submit her, I'm creating more continuity in my movement to find the end result, the end outcome. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you look forward to my next instructional. Well, what? I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you look forward to seeing my new instructional on off-balancing in all sorts of different open guards.